Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a handbag review and I don't know about you guys but generally when I purchase a handbag I'm purchasing it from brands that I know really well and that I know have got a long-standing history. So you know some of the bags that I own from Celine and from Proenza Schooler which are both very well known and highly respected brands. The bag that I'm talking to you about today is from a label that I didn't actually know of until they contacted me and they sent me one of their bags to review. So I was really curious to learn a little bit more about the company and also to see what the quality of the bags were like. Because firstly, when you're shopping on the internet, it's a little bit difficult to know for sure. And also, I thought it would be really interesting to be able to share with you a bag that has that designer look but without the designer price tag. Now the company that I'm referring to is called Teddy Blake and this is the bag that I got. It is called the Carla and I got this in the nano size in the grey, not the light grey and it's a very blue toned grey. It doesn't come off quite so well on camera but it is quite a bluey toned grey and it's a little bit darker than I'd expected and also a little bit smaller than I thought it would be when I received it. Now if you guys haven't noticed a similarity yet, this bag looks so, so much like the Saint Laurent Sac du Jour bag, except it just doesn't have the price tag. And then on the front here, it says Teddy Blake, New York. So I guess if you were looking for that style of bag, then this would be a really great alternative, but at a much lower price point. Teddy Blake bags tend to run between the 200 to 400 US dollar mark, as opposed to, I think more than $2,000 for Saint Laurent's version. I'm just going to talk a little bit about the bag itself and give you my thoughts on it. They're relatively positive. I do have a couple of teeny weeny nitpicky things about it that I don't particularly like, but we'll just get started with the structure of the bag itself. So as you can see, it's quite a boxy style bag and it has some feet on the bottom which will help protect them. These are stainless steel actually, which is really good quality. The leather itself is really beautiful and soft. It's a grain pebbled leather, so you know that it's going to wear really well. I tend to find that grainy pebbled leathers, you can scratch them and it's not going to show up. So they definitely have a much longer lifespan than if you got a really beautiful calf skin bag or a lamb skin. So the bag has these little poppers here which pop open and they actually allow you to extend open the bag, so you like that. And then you can just see right in there, and I've been taking this while I've been going out walking, just running a few errands, but I'll just pull everything out. So as you can see inside the bag, it is suede. It has two pockets here down the bottom. One I put my lipstick in and the other one I place my cell phone into and then it's got a zip up pocket at the top. Now there is one thing I really don't like about the interior of this zip up pocket. It's a nylon inside. So to me, it kind of defeats the purpose of having this really luxurious looking interior which has got a nice sort of suede finish and then having a nylon pocket. Personally, I would prefer if the lining of the interior pocket was cotton, however, even if it was a suede finish, I think that would be much better and it would just retain that kind of cohesiveness of the interior of the bag. So you can really open it up and then kind of close it and this is one of those bags where you just pop your hand in to pull anything out. So I'll put my wallet and things in there and then I just pull them out. It can be a bit of a tight fit and sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to find what it is that you're looking for. But with this type of bag, obviously you're not going to be taking the whole kitchen sink with you. You're just going to be taking your essentials. So it shouldn't be too difficult. I can usually fit my sunglasses in here. I've also been able to fit my vlogging camera, which I tried to vlog and then I sort of failed at the whole thing. So sorry guys, I know I've had a few requests for vlogs and I will try and do some in the future, maybe when we're doing something a little bit interesting. It has a really long strap. So personally, I wear this across my body, across the front, and I will link down to a blog post below where you can see me wearing this. And I've also worn it in some of the videos that I filmed for my essential series. So just keep an eye out for that if you wanna see what it looks like on and how it moves. Now there is one other thing that I don't particularly like about these styles of bags, and this is just own, my own personal opinion, it's got nothing against the bag itself, but I would prefer if it, rather than just being open, it had a closure, like a zip up closure, 
or a pop-up closure just to really ensure that all of your belongings inside are safe as I do sometimes worry that if I've got my bag behind me and it's swung to the back that someone can just pop their hand in there because they can see my wallet or they can see my cell phone. Overall I have to admit I am very impressed with this bag. I do think that it is very luxurious looking. It is very high quality. The stitching on it is all very nice. You can see they've used a good quality leather. The lining isn't nice aside from in the pocket and it just seems to be very well constructed. Given that I didn't have a personal relationship with the brand before they contacted me, it is not a place that I would have thought to shop from originally, um, but I have to say I think that it is a good place to go if you are looking for a style of bag like this or if you're looking for a bag like the Hermes Birkin, I believe they've got very similar styles on there as they do have very good quality options and they have small and large sizes and also in a variety of different colors as well. As I'm sure you all know, I love my designer handbags and I definitely am more than willing to splurge on something, but I know it's not within everyone's budget to do so. And when there is an option which isn't necessarily masquerading to be another bag, but it's got that very similar vibe, I don't see why there would be any hesitation to go for it if that's the type of bag that you are looking for. Particularly if the item itself has been made and constructed well and is made with really good and high quality materials. So those were all of my thoughts on the Carla Nano handbag from Teddy Blake. This is in my regular rotation at the moment. I'm really enjoying wearing it and I love the color. I think it's just really different while still being really neutral, but I just think it adds a point of difference to my outfits. I'll pop links for the Teddy Blake website down below and I'll also include links to the Saint Laurent Sac de Jour bag so that you can see the comparison for yourselves. Anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and that you learned something a little bit new about a brand that you may or may not have known about. If you like this sort of video, do let me know as I'm happy to film more things like it. And if you haven't seen my Parenza School of PS11 satchel review and what's in my bag video, I'll drop it down below just so you can have a peek. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.